why it is considerably more likely that you will end up with your option A if you have a backup option B. So based on the experiences of the last couple of years and the hundreds of people I have worked with, it is clear that it is more likely that you will achieve option A, so what you are targeting primarily, um, if you have a backup option B. So what does it mean and why I believe this is happening? It means that while you should not spread your focus on too many things at the same time, you should at least plan to fall soft in case you are falling. Because if you have that security that there is another option you can just like fall back to, then you are more relaxed in the evaluative process for your main option A. And in an MB, speaking in MBB context, this would be so if you build a network already or already bring an offer from a tier two consultancy or would have another interviewing process running for, um, I don't know, Google, Amazon or what, what do I know, right? Um, then it is considerably more likely that you will end up with your option A, right? Because for many people, the pressure that comes from only having one option and then falling hard, right, to the next potential option, sometimes there is not even an option, right, um, that is too much and it's kind of in their way of showing how excellent they could be in the interviews. And that is a mindset topic that you can easily um, manage, right? All you need to do is have um, an option B in place that you would consider as Adequate. That's the that's the least right. Adequate, um, but at the same time, making sure that you are focusing and prioritizing the option A that you would go for. And by doing this, you will always, in in any instance and, and situation of the case and uh, of your interviewing journey, you will know that no matter how am I doing today, I will not fall more or harder than to option B. And that will make a difference in how you are treating option A. And by knowing this, it is now important to really consider what is important for you, what is an adequate option B that you can plan for, and what would you need to do in order to get this sorted before you open up the official process on option A. So getting into the MBB interview process.